The government continues to assist those displaced and whose livelihoods have been disrupted in the fishing and farming sector on the sister isle of Karakou and Petit Martinique. During a recent interview with Minister for Karakou and Petit Martinique Affairs and Local Government, Honorable Tevin Andrews, he updated the GIS on the assistance given to farmers thus far and what's still to come as they continue to put the necessary systems in place to get the agriculture sector up and running post the passage of Hurricane Beryl. Black tanks has been um, distributed to our, to our farmers, hundreds of, of tanks to our farmers. Our farmers got a really hard hit and our fisher folks and so on have gotten a hard hit. Very soon you would be hearing additional support. So the site ben beneficiaries, they too will be assisted with additional black tanks, irrigation system and a, a financial payout to assist them to get their farms back up and running. And the farmers that are not on that are not on the, the SIAP program, they too will be assisted through the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries by giving finan some financial support so that they can get back on the on the feet as in the shortest possible time. For fisher folks, Honorable Tevin Andrews says the assistance process has begun but had to be stalled as there were some irregularities discovered with claims that the ministry needed to clarify. Once the process is completed, the legitimate fishermen will receive the assistance. The fisher folk should have received some payments already. However, there are some delays, I must admit, because we recognize that there were some irregularities. There are people who are not fishermen. There are people who applied or who, 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 whose boats were assessed and were down to receive the benefits, but they, they, they are not, they, they are not fishing vessels. So you don't, it's not a fishing vessel. You're not a fisherman, but, but your name is down to receive support. So obviously we have to reassess and that reassessment is being done now as we speak. And after the reassessment, the funds will be disbursed to the people that really deserve the support. The fishermen who go there every day to hustle, every day to make a decent and honest living. We want to ensure that the support goes to them. So the government position is clear. 50% of the damage, government will, will, will pay for it. But I also want us to understand and to, and to note that the CRIF funds was not sufficient to deal with the level of damage that was done to the fishing sector in Caracol and Pity Matnik and overall Grenada. So the CRIF funds was one point something or two point something million US dollars, but the, the level of damage that was done was over 500, five, sorry, five million plus EC dollars. So therefore you realize that there's a, the, 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 that the, the, it, it's, so suddenly the government had to step in and we had to put the additional resources to assist with the damage that, that was done. Government Honorable Tevin Andrews says is committed to assisting those that deserve the assistance and updated on another area of focus, which is the vulnerable in Karakou and Petit Martinique. We are committed to the fishermen. So we are paying half of the damage that was done. In addition, the boats, so the fishing boats that had workers on them, like the tuna boats in particular, the divers that dive the Lambie and so on that have workers, the government will be paying those um, workmen a one of 4,000 plus EC dollars. So that is a help with the incentives that we're doing. Social development, all seed beneficiaries got a top up of 700 uh, Eastern Caribbean dollars, a one off. In addition to that, we have a uh, uh, survey, uh, an assessment is now being done on people who are vulnerable or who are affected financially by Beryl uh, and who have lost income and who have become vulnerable as a result of this whole situation. This assessment, assessment has been carried out by the Ministry of Social Development and our social development team in Caracol, led by uh, Mr. Nadina Williams, our program manager, our head of social development here. And uh, the intention is to give income support to these individuals for the next six months. Honorable Andrew says a more detailed outline of government's initiatives and assistance for the people of Karakou will be outlined in the 2025 estimates of revenue and expenditure.